everyone! Yo Mama Becha here and welcome back to my channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa akin channel, please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell as I will be posting new videos weekly. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the things you want to avoid in selling online or how you can prepare yourself sa pagbebenta online. These tips are based on my experience as a Lazada for 6 years and I am sharing these to you as a guide and I'm hoping na makatulong ako sa inyo by making these videos. Planning to make money at home by starting an online business? That's a bold move you are making. Starting an online business is one of the most exciting things you can do. You only need a computer and an internet connection and turn it into a money-making side hustle. Pero let us face it, doing an online business can also be overwhelming. Let's head on to the screen as I will give you tips on how you can avoid the mistakes in online selling and be a successful online seller. Ayan. Okay, so last night, bago ako natulog, I have been thinking of what to create sa ating next video. Okay, and then um, I came up with why not share another tips sa ating mga online seller and eto nga yung na isip ko last night so I took down my notebook, I listed down yung mga, ano nga ba yung mga mistakes ko noong nag start pa lang ako sa online selling okay so just so you know hindi lang ako 6 years naga online selling, I've been online selling for 8 years already I started with Facebook Okay, well, well, nung una, nagbebenta ko sa office and then I started online selling sa Facebook until nag-transition ako sa mga biggest online selling platform like Zalora, uh, Lazada, Shopee, and, you know, if God permits, maybe we can do dropshipping soon. Okay, so, sa dami ng nilista ko, I drilled it down into two. Okay, so as you can see here dito sa ating screen, so, I drilled it down into two. Parang sinamarize ko na lang. Kasi anyway, nagpa-fall lang din naman sila sa same category. And, um, eto nakadalawang bullet point siya. Number one is improper mindset. Number two is lack of research. And then, didiscuss natin isa-isa yan later on. So, unahin muna natin yung improper mindset. Bakit improper mindset? Okay, so as an online seller, kung mindset ang pag-uusapan, meron na po tayong mindset eh. Kung baga, um, buo na yung loob natin na yes, this is what I'm going to do. Magbebenta ako online. Magsasign up ako sa Lazada. Magsasign up ako sa Shopee. Magsasign up ako sa Zalora. And magbebenta ako online. Okay, so yun na yung mindset natin. However, um, I want to point out na may mga mindset po tayo na na na, na set sa ating mga isipan na improper siya. So, I named it like, I named it as improper mindset kasi ke, kasi nakokoreksyonan pa siya eh. Kumbaga, nakokoreksyonan pa siya. Okay? So, improper mindset. Okay? And then, improper mindset kasi um, sa simula, uh, nasa isip natin money, 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 kita, kita, kita. Okay? If your mindset is all about money, then you are on a wrong track. While money making is our number one purpose in selling online, para makatulong tayo sa ating asawa, be our own boss, uh, madagdagan yung income ng ating household, single mom ka, breadwinner ka, and you think that online selling for you is the best solution of your money problems, maling mindset po ito. Bakit? Kasi, ang online business po, we should set a rule number one sa ating online business, which is, it's about your customer, not you. Okay, it's about our customer because at the end of the day, kahit gaano man yan, kalaki ang yung puhunan, pero wala kang customer base or you are not able to create a customer base, your online selling will not be successful. Okay? And then, number two bullet sa ating improper mindset is, as you can see here, is be resilient and teachable. Okay? 
So, you need to have that mentality that you can teach yourself to do anything as long as you push yourself hard enough and try enough things. Okay? So, ma-share ko lang po. Dati, nung nagsisimula ako, I really don't know anything about online selling. Unang-una, hindi ako marunong mag-edit ng picture. Okay? And then, hindi ni photography, hindi nga ako marunong eh. Okay? Hindi ako marunong kumuha ng shots. Okay, but then again, I taught myself how to do it by doing research, by doing um, upskilling, okay, enrolling to um, an upskill class para lang matuto and ma-apply ko sa online selling na, kumbaga, parang trabaho, trabaho, okay? Um, but, you know, it's, it's, a th- it's also my passion, of course, it's something that you love doing, okay? And then number... Two bullet points sa ating improper mindset din is yung resiliency. Sinabi ko dito is be resilient. Kasi resiliency po is a character that you need to have sa online selling. It is to recover quickly when faced with difficulties. Then hindi po talaga basta-basta ang pag online selling. Okay? So, may papakita lang ako sa inyo. Itong mga comments na to are from one of the Lazada groups that I joined. So, basahin nyo na lang po and then let me know your thoughts by typing your comments below sa video na to. Or if you wanna read it, so let's read it one by one. Okay. Uh, sabi dito yung isa, Hi, please help. I just wanna ask, meron po ba dito sa problem na encounter katulad sa shop ko? Inactivate lahat ng products. 38 non-compliance points. Sabi chat support after 21 days. Tsaka maging activate at back to normal lahat ng products ko. True ba? Mababalik o hindi na? Okay. So, eto namang number 2. Tanong lang po, Paige, first time ka ba nag-online sa Lazada? Cash basis po as reseller or... COD po talaga ang Lazada at sa account po ba ang Lazada at din sa padala yung payment nila sa item na order ko? Sino po makakasagot? Patulong po. Thanks. Okay. And then next we have, do you guys feel that Lazada is stealing from you? Nangyari na naman ang malupit na SF overcharging nila. 1,918 kinuha nila as shipping fee ng item. Santo hinatid sa Middle East. Okay. Ayan, and then, yan, may mga nagsagutan na sa kanyang um, message or comment. And then, last um, example, umaatake na naman mga palit item. Pabango laman, wala naman. Ako pabangong tinda. At nauna, napansin ko, napakalayo ng order date sa ship date. Samantalang kinabukasan, pick up agad ako. At yung band paper kainis kasi lagi dyan pinapadala return ko sa Manila samantalang sa province yung return address ko. Ano kaya gagawin ko ito? Okay? So, kung napansin nyo sa thumbnail, sinabi ko na bawal ang mga nega sa video na ito kasi, ayan, ilalatag ko po lahat ng mga negative sa video na ito. Okay? This is not to discourage you but to encourage you to really strive harder as a online seller and be inspired. Okay? So, ayan. So, nandun na tayo. Puntahan na natin yung ating um, pangalawang mistakes to avoid sa pagsisal online is yung lack of research. So, we have four bullet points here. Um, market and product, the competition, product suppliers, and yung business system. Okay? So, isa-isa yun natin i-discuss yan. Um, most people kasi or just starting out make the mistake of looking for a product first and then pangalawa na yung market. So, mali po yun. Ang strategy po dyan is, una, you need to know yung market mo. Okay, may market nga ba? For example, sa damit. Okay, may market nga ba sa damit? Gusto magbenta ng damit. May market nga ba dito? Ang daming nagbebenta ng damit. Pero, anong damit ang pwedeng ibenta so you can stand out? Okay? So, yon Yan po yung market and also the product. And then, we have the competition. Sa competition, 
sino-sino ba yung nagbibenta ng mga damit? So, you look at your competitors. Can you compete sa pricing, sa marketing materials, and so on. So, just a tip, kahit marami kayong competitors, one tip para, para mag-stand out kayo is to pay particular attention sa quality ng mga image nyo. Okay? Kasi, uh, in my experience, good product photography can set your listing apart. Okay? Ayan. And then, we have here the third one, which is the uh, product suppliers. Okay? So, um, maidagdag ko lang when we say product suppliers, dapat yung supplier natin is sustainable supplier. Okay? Para pag may demand is madali nyo siyang masusource. Okay? Makukuha nyo yung material o makukuha nyo yung product mismo. Okay? So, identify and find legitimate suppliers and wholesale distributors that sell high quality items at reasonable prices. Para makapag-offer naman po tayo ng competitive prices sa ating mga customers while still earning a profit. Okay, so paano ko ba mahahanap yung mga good suppliers for my online business? Simply lamang po, the World Wide Web is so huge, you can always check online sa mga good suppliers. Okay, as from recommendations sa mga taong kilala mo, diba? you check the internet, particularly yung mga buy and sell websites. Um, you can go as far as attending bazaars and trade events di ba? para makakuha kayo ng mga suppliers okay? and then the last one is yung business system ano ba yung business system so dito pumapasok yung marketplace natin na ginagamit Lazada o Shopee o Zalora kung anong online selling platform yan so which online business system will be the most profitable? How do you know if people will pay? How do you uh, get buyers? How do you get traffic sa uh, page mo or sa shop mo? And how do you get repeat customers? Okay? So, yan yung business system natin. Okay? So, and then in connection dun sa mga comments na pinakita ko. Okay? So, those are just example na ipapasok natin. Okay? Sa lack of research ng ating business system. Okay? I will show you bakit. Okay? So, yan. Um, unang-una, bago kasi pumasok sa Lazada, okay, bago pumunta tayo, ma-excite na, yes, I wanna sell with Lazada, I wanna sell sa Shopee, I wanna sell sa Zalora. That's it, I have all the money. Meron akong pampuhunan. But then, wala ta, hindi ka nag-research sa business system. So, more likely, magiging failure po yung online selling nyo. Okay? So, how will you uh, do it? Or ha, paano? Of course, syempre, you allot a time. Okay? Magbigay po kayo ng time sa inyong sarili para maging familiar sa online selling platform na to. Okay? So, for example... Sa Lazada, okay, bago po kayo mag-upload ng products, okay, bago po muna kayo mag-start magbenta, make sure na you learn the tricks and the trade of the Lazada platform. Okay, paano? I will show you kung paano. So, ayan, may share lang ako ulit na... Um, video dito, papakita ko ilalagin lang natin sa seller center okay, and paano nga ba tayo matututo or ano yung mga research na sinasabi ko sa ating business system okay, so eto yung screen as you can see, uh, nakalagin tayo sa ating seller center and kung nakafollow kayo sa aking channel eto po yung shop na create natin for tutorial purposes. Okay, naka-live na po yung shop na to and as you can see here namumula po siya kasi uh, hindi ko na malaya na may pumasok pala siyang benta. Unfortunately, I was not able to process the benta and na auto cancel po siya ni Lazada kaya mamumula-mula po siya. Okay? And then nakita niyo rin yung revenue natin na 378. Okay, so yung sinasabi kong research sa business system Ayan, tip lang po, bago muna kayo mag-upload, 
Okay, bago muna kayo magbenta, make sure na familiar po kayo sa business system ni Lazada. Okay, so paano? Paano natin? Kasi, guys, hindi, ang Lazada selling platform po ay hindi perfect. Wala pong perfect na online selling platform. Mapa Zalora man yan, mapa Lazada man yan, mapa Shopee man yan. Hindi po sila perfecto. Okay? Meron silang pros and meron din silang cons. Okay? And sa ating side as an online seller, of course, we have to do double time in learning the business system. Kasi let's face it po. Okay? Lalo na dyan sa mga medyo isang buwan o dalawang buwan na nagbebenta sa Lazada. Mahirap po talaga i-reach out yung kanilang customer support. Okay? Yung partner support. Okay? Pero what you can do as an online seller is get all the answers dun sa mga katanungan nyo. Okay? So, nung nagsisimula ako, ito lang po yung ginawa ko. Okay? Nagkaroon po kami ng orientation. By the way, nagkaroon kami orientation. It took almost half a day para sa orientation. Pero, sa totoo lang po, wala po kayong matututunan sa orientation na yan. Only the basic. Kung may matutunan na kayo, only the basic po. Pero how to run your online selling business ay nakasalalay po sa inyo as online seller. Okay? So, what you can do, of course, is be familiar. Again, paulit-ulit ko pong sinasabi. Pasensya na po. But this is, this is how to do it. Is be familiar with the business system. So, anong ginagawa ko? On my free time, nag-aalat po ako talaga na mag-aral sa online selling platform ni Lazada. Okay, again, kahit hindi Lazada yung gamit mo, applicable pa rin to. So, what I do is I go to, ayan, ano yung mga resources na, kailang, na kailangan natin o yung pinoprovide ni Lazada. Okay, so when you go here, just click here, ayan o, meron tayong seller support. We have Lazada University and we also have the health center. I-click natin yung Lazada University. Okay? For Lazada University. Okay? Ito yung mga tutorials. Ito yung mga popular courses na kailangan mo as a seller. Okay? For example, uh, dito, click natin yung all trainings. Okay? So, nandito po lahat. Available po yan. Okay, ayan, as you can see, ito po yung assistance na maibibigay sa inyo ng Lazada as an online seller. Dahil wala naman pong one-on-one -on -one training yan. Okay, so as an online seller, it's your responsibility to know their processes. Okay, ayan, so intro to Lazada, quick tour of seller center, completing your Lazada requirements, um, getting started, sell big on Lazada ayun siya. Okay? So, may mga tips pa nga sila how to maximize your sales with promotion and so on. Okay? So, all you need to do is again, allocate your free time. Okay? Kung wala kayong free time, make sure to make one para matuto po kayo sa proseso niya. Okay? So, kung may mga katanungan naman, kung may katanungan po tayo, of course, ayan, Let's go back to this page. Puntahan naman natin yung help center. Dahil yung help center po ay yan. For uh, literal na literal, it's a help center. Nandito po yung mga topics, mga questions na uh, pwedeng uh, mano sa mga kaisipan nyo as an online seller. Um, ayan, lumalabas naman po yung pagkabisaya ako. I don't know how to express na naman in Tagalog, but here you go. As you can see here, um, andito yung mga top questions. Okay? Ayan, how do I need, or how do I add a new product? How drop off works? How to pack an item? What is the process for returns? What is the new shipping policy? How to order Lazada packaging materials? How do I get paid? Okay, ito yung mga basic na hindi nyo na kailangan i-reach out sa mga um, page or sa mga group 
na sinalihan nyo. Okay? So, kung napapansin nyo dun sa video na shinare ko, okay, ang nakikita ko lang mali nila dun is hindi nila alam ang ins and outs ng business system ng Lazada. Okay, bakit siya na overcharge? Okay, na overcharge yun, uh, there's a 90% uh, possibility na mali yung dineclare niya na weight ng package. Okay, and also yung uh, laki nung package. Kaya overcharging. Okay, and then um, kung naalala nyo rin doon sa isa sa mga comment is yung um, points niya. Sinabi niya dito na 38 non-compliance points. Okay? So, bakit ba may, may non-compliance? Ano ba yung mga non-compliance na yan? Then again, it's just familiarity ng business system ni Lazada. Okay? Ayan o. O, sinert natin non-compliance, ba? Diba? O, nakita nyo, what is non-compliance points? Diba? Yan yung point system natin. Ito yung metrics na kailangan nating alagaan as a seller. Okay? Bakit siya non-compliant? O sabi dito, ano yung mga non-compliance? O, ayan. ba? Diba? Bakit na-deactivate yung account niya? O, dahil dito, isa dito sa mga rason kung bakit siya may points ng ganun. Intellectual property, prohibited yung products. Content and Catalog Policy, Fair Trading Policy, Seller Behavior Policy. Okay? And then, meron ding isa doon na napakasimple lang ang tanong. Hindi at hindi niya alam. Diba? How do I get paid? So, ayan, ikiklik lang natin. Andyan ang payment po. Ayan, o. Oh, na, ayan na sa uh, online fund transfer. Cut off is Monday to Sunday. Payout is 4 days after statement cut off every Thursday of next week. Ayan. Okay? And so on. So, yun lang po. Um, yun ang mga misses or mga mistakes na nagagawa or nakukumit ng ating mga online seller, especially sa mga baguhan. Dahil, hindi naman po natin pwedeng iasa lahat kay Lazada. Okay? Lazada has provided us the website, the selling platform to do our business. And of course, Lazada needs us, of course, to coordinate with them and um, kumbaga uh, let's do our effort then as a seller um, to make sure na maging successful tayo. Okay? So, hindi natin uh, iaasa lahat sa kanila dahil kumbaga compared to um, different platforms like Zalora di hamak naman po na mas mababa po yung mga uh, fees ni Lazada. Okay? So, kumbaga we are paying or we are getting what we paid for. Alright? So, ayan. So, I think mahaba-haba na yung discussion natin. Um, I'm hoping that you learned something today. Um, if you have uh, comments, feel free to comment it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you want more tips just, just like this, let me know and I'll be happy to create one. As I said, ganina mahaba-haba pa yung notebook ko. Pero again, sinamarize ko na lang po para sa inyo para hindi naman mahaba-haba yung ating um, video. Okay? So, that's it for our video today. I'll see you in my next video. You have a good day and good luck in your selling journey. Bye!